Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with PHP language inside the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. PHP is a popular general purpose scripting language that is especially suited to web development. It's fast, flexible, and pragmatic. PHP powers everything from your blog to the most popular websites in the world. So enough of all of that. So let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see, I have Visual Studio 2022 open. So to get us started, we have to continue with our code here. So once we click on the continue, we open the Visual Studio and we click on this bit here, continue with our code. So this will actually open this Visual Studio without any project. So once we have this page open, we click on this extension. So we go to the extension manager. So this will actually load the online bit here. So from this bit, from this bit here, obviously we can type in PHP. So this will actually give us this, um, it will actually give us this Resort here. So the first bit is PHP tools for Visual Studio 2022. So this PHP tools for Visual Studio 2022 transparently integrate into Microsoft Visual Studio and extend it with the support for PHP language. The extension is focused on developer productivity, respecting conventions. It understands the code, provides smart code completion, quick navigation, error checking, code diagnostic, code formatting, integrated PHP manual, project system, debugging support, compo composer package man manager, and many more. So as you can see here now, I've got this bit checked here. That means I've already installed it. But if you haven't, make sure you get a download bit here. Make sure you download it, and then you close the Visual Studio. So once you close and open the Visual Studio, this will actually install it will be installed automatically, OK? So once we are completed with that bit here, then we close this extension manager. So he, now we can go ahead and create a new project. So new and project here. So as you can see here now, we have this PHP project coming up first as new and whatnot. Yeah, so we select the PHP language. So here we've got a bunch of PHP project templates that we can start with. First one being the PHP web project. So this will actually help you. This, this actually is a project template for creating PHP web projects. You can create traditional PHP web projects or projects deployable to Microsoft Platform or IS or Azure. You can also create your, this pro, you can create a project from an existing PHP code. Yeah, so this actually creates a new PHP project using code file that you already have. Or you can also create a PHP project from a remote location. So this actually creates a PHP project from file on a remote host. File will be downloaded and both will be synchronized. And we have a PHP console project. So this is a PHP command line application. So you can also build a PHP console application from this tools, yeah? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to select the PHP console project, yeah? And then we click on the next. So, and then this part here, you configure your project details, like the project name and the location and whatnot, yeah? So you can also change the project name, yeah? Then we click on the create. So this will actually create a, a very simple PHP console application, yeah? So this actually prints out Hello World. So we're going to actually run it to see what actually comes out of it, yeah? So we click on F5 for this play button here. So as you can see here now, we've got the, the, the program run quickly and exited. So what we do just to stop it from running is we put another echo here. 
and a double coat here. And we put this semicolon here. So here we put our brick points here. So this will actually stop the program from, from escaping, yeah? So we click on the F5 or this play button here. So now, as you can see, yeah, we've got the, the brick, the brick points hit. So we open this. So as you can see here now, we've got our hello world being displayed, yeah? So we're just going to stop this from running. So as you can see, yeah, this tools for um, PHP for Visual Studio, it has a very smart intelligence that we're going to have a look at. So here we're going to declare a variable called message. Yeah, and we're gonna put very simple stuff. So we're just gonna say tools for Visual Studio 2022. And of course, we put a semicolon here. So here, what we do is we're just going to remove this hello world here and actually display our variable. So it's message. So as you can see, it's a very simple stuff here. So what we do is we're just going to run it again. So as you can see, we've got a breakpoint hit again. So we open the console app. So as you can see here now, we have got the tools for Visual Studio 2022 display now. Yeah, so we're just going to, once again, add another variable. Add another variable here. So we're just gonna call this variable. message one and we're going to call this for a semicolon here so a visual studio tools for um i mean tools for visual studio 2022 so we're going to put a php So that, that will be PHP tools for Visual Studio. So we're going to add this variable first before the, 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 the other one. So we're gonna pull our dollar sign and we're gonna add the message one here. So we put our dot here. Yeah, just to just to combine both variables, yeah. So we're gonna run it again and see what actually comes out of it, yeah. So we have got our breakpoint hit again. So we open the console app. So as you can see here, now I've got PHP tools for Visual Studio. Basically, we don't have the spacing, but I hope you get what I'm trying to do. So now, obviously, you can go ahead and do a lot with um, with this here. Yeah? But once again, mind you that this actually tools for Visual PHP tools for Visual Studio 2022 is not free. So once you download and install. It actually it will give you a 30 day trial. So if you are happy with it, then obviously you can subscribe to that by actually paying for it. So I'm going to end the video here. So basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.